Oh, my phone shut off again because it said it was too hot. So hopefully, again, I'll try to splice all these videos so that way I don't have multiple videos. But anyway, I wanted to show all of these holes are done on both sides. Need to clean those up a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'll have to flip this back over. So I don't want to flip it over with it, trying to put these in, but let's see if I can do this with hold this camera. I'm gonna put those in like that. They're just barely away from the edge, so there's plenty of surface there to sit on. But those are gonna slide through those holes, and then, like I said, with that board, is I'm just gonna cap off these so they can't move around. So I'll have to flip it upside right side up, I should say, put all those in and then put that retaining board, I'll call it, in place. And then it's ready for the lid, which I don't think I'm gonna build in here because this thing's gonna be hard enough to transport. So to get it down to my barn, I think I'm gonna leave the lid off because I'm gonna slide it onto the trailer like that. So I don't want it ripping the lid up. So I'll try to get this thing flipped right side up, get all those poles in, and that'll be pretty much it. I will record doing the lid, but for the most part, this thing is done once I get these poles in. So I will get this stuff sweeped up. Oh, and this, this board I bought specifically um, is just kiln dried. These are not pressure treated. The four by fours are but these are just kiln dried. So all of this is gonna go into the bedding. That's perfect stuff for these, for these worms. So it's not too big, it's chewed up pretty good. So anything like that, if it's kiln dried wood, I'm keeping and throwing in there. All right, so I got the help of my wife to stand this thing up. It's far too heavy. On my own so I put on another board back here so this is all I was talking about to cover those holes it's just a board I found up in this old garage instead of cutting this in half I found that one I was like well that'll just be easier so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all the poles in and then put that retaining board in and show you what it looks like I'm gonna build the lid like I said later because this thing's gonna be hard enough to move anyway but this is all it's going to take now. Just feeding these in. So not all the holes came out perfect, but as long as they make it across there, they'll be fine. They're close enough.
do this last few. I think you get the idea here. I'll just show you that. That'll be about the end of this build. So here's what it looks like on the inside. So it's just about an inch and a half gap between them now. Strong enough to hold and wide enough to get a rake through there. So. You can see I can put quite a bit of pressure on these. So this will be how much I have in soil. And then I did make this maybe a little too tall, but it's gonna be easy to get underneath here and work. So that's why I made this maybe a little bit taller than necessary. But this thing is very sturdy. It's gonna last forever. And I will finish off putting these in. And then all you do is just put that board right on the front here. You know, just put one screw in, walk it over, put another one in, and then put a few in the middle. It's just holding it in. That's all it's doing. So this is my new worm composting bin. <laughs>